So, good afternoon. I have this message for us. I fear the worst, but God wants you to know He is making a way out of no way. So, it's me, your little boy, K. Samson. This is the day that the Lord is, have made, and it is marvelous and gracious in our sight. So, listen to me. Listen, listen. If you feel rejected, this message is, is made for you. If someone have disappointed you, if people have looked down on you, if there is some people around you who have never believed that you can make it, just wait to the end of this video and subscribe to your small little boy, K. Samson, because I have something good for you today. It's a good news. I don't know who have rejected you, but today, <laughs> they will regret of doing that thing. <laughs> of Athens, of trying to reject you. Listen, it's me, your little boy, K. Samson. So guess what? The message I have for you is, I fear the worst, but God is making a way where there is no way. So if someone thinks that you can't do it, and you are afraid that you can never make it without them, or maybe you have that mindset, if because of that, these people are now trying to take advantage of you, trying to mock you, do all sorts of things, take you for granted. Believe me, God is making a way for you. Yes, listen, your mockers will be mocked after this message. Hey, God, because ignorance is a disease. Believe me, those, who, those people who don't believe in you, after this message, they will automatically regret why they try, not to close of acting it. Listen, the Bible makes us to understand that in the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God of suffer violence, and all the violent men take it by force. So listen and listen carefully. The Bible says we will map up like an ego. So I fear the worst. I fear what is going to happen. I fear, I have that fear that if I do this, I do that. You sometimes, listen, sometimes if we are about to start up a business, we are about to do a build, yes, we fear the worst, we fear, we have that fear of unknown, fear that if I may encounter this, what will be the next portion, what will be the repercussion, what will be the outcome of this thing, we fear all those things, but I'm here to urge you, brothers, whatsoever you have your mind, whatsoever you have mind in doing, do it, because God will make a way for you. I don't know who have rejected you, I don't know who take you for granted, who look at you and say you can't succeed, you can't make it. I don't know who think they can keep you in that situation forever. I don't know who have made up their mind and said they will take you as they want, they will treat you as they want. But listen, the Bible says Samuel, uh, David was taken for, let, let me put it this way. If you look at the history and the story of David, you come to understand that David was take, uh, taken for granted. He was taken as a black sheep, but yet he became a king overnight. Let me put it that way. Joseph was nobody in the land of Egypt, in the land of uh, a stranger, and yet he became a governor. So, how much more do you think? Why will you be afraid of those who, who reject you? Why will you be, be panicking of, because of people who do what, who leave you? Why will you be what, be thinking it is the worst because of people who don't believe in you? Because of people who don't want to do what, to be around you? Why? For greater is he that is in you. you. You ought to know this. Greater and mighty is he that is in you than he that is in them. So if anyone have ever opened their mouth and tell you that you can't make it without them, let me tell you, brothers, God is going to prove the wrong. So listen and listen good. It does not matter how many people that disappoint you. It does not matter how many people that are against you. But you will make it even without them. You will become successful even without them. You will expand even without them. I don't get to know how many they are. I don't get to know where they come from. But God will disappoint them. Yes, I fear the worst. But God does not fear the worst. That is why you need not to go back to those who have hurt you. Yes. Don't be afraid to pursue your dream. Yes, yeah, sometimes we fear because of what people are saying. Sometimes we, uh, we do what? We look bad and do what? And fear because of people who, 
who don't want to support us. If we continue this joining alone, how, how, how are we going to do it? Can we make it without them? Can we become successful without them? We look down, we look up. It looks like no one cares about us. No one wants to support us. But I'm telling you politely, directly, that you will be able to, so you will be successful even if they don't want you to be successful. You will make it even if they don't want you to make it. So whoever that don't want you to be successful, and that is the reason why they want you, they want, they want you to remain in that position. They don't want to, you know, assist you because they don't want your success. They don't want to help you because they don't want your increase. So let them go. Yes, I fear the worst, but I know that my God is making a way. Yes, I fear the unfair. Yes, but I know that my God will never do or disappoint me. So whoever that disappoints you will regret of putting you into that world, into that problem. You know what I'm saying? So God is always what with us. Do not be afraid just because of those who don't believe in you. Or because of those who disappoint you. Because God is always available to do what? To help you. No matter how many there are that do what? That look down on you. No matter how many there are that refuse to do what? To help you because of their ignorance, because of their inability to think that you can become successful without them so let them go because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you understand me so no matter how many there are that want to put you in a situation that you will regret your why just let them know that god is always available to secure you you got what i'm saying god is always available do not be afraid because of people who who think you can't do it without them. Do not panic because of people who are thinking that if they leave you, if they put you into that worst, you can never rise again. Just tell them, my God is available. My God can do it. My God can secure me. My God can preserve me. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. For, I, if, for if I step upon snake and scorpion, if I step upon failure, if I step upon rejection, I will rise again. Yes, God is me. God can make a way where there is no way. No matter how many, the Bible said there is no food. There is no water for them to drink in the wilderness. And Moses called God, and God allowed the make stone to do to bring out what water, water flow out of what stone. And Elijah, Elisha, Elisha make a word. See, they said this, the land was 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 not useful. The land was what unproductive. Nothing good come out of the land. Nothing successful the land was able to yield. And Elijah said to them, if I be a man of God, there may not be the rain, there may not be the wind, but the valley will be full of water. And according to his word, it comes to manifest. So I don't know who have rejected you, but God is going to make a way for you. I don't know who have abandoned you, but God is going to make a way for you. I don't know who looked down on you. I don't know who concluded on you. I don't know who decide to make mockery of your doing but god is going to make them understand that greater is he that is in him than he that is in the world god is making a way where there is no way if you feel that everyone around you abandoned you god is sending a help that is greater than them if someone feel that without them you can't feel someone that will help them or no, without them you you will find someone like them if they leave you, you will find another person like them Tell them, if they want to go, let them go. Because God is going to send someone like Moses into your life. That is, that is what, God is going to send someone that is more prepared. Someone that will take you as king and queen. Someone that will treat you like a baby. You got what I'm saying? So if people want to live your life, let them go. And tell them, my God can make a way where there is no way. Yes, I fear the worst, but I know that my God is making a way. Yes, I fear the wars, I fear rejection, but I know my God is making a way. Remember blessed.